Hi, I'm Paul Bourne with the Pierce Conservation District, and today I want to talk to you about noxious weeds. Noxious weeds are invasive, aggressive plants, weeds that come into our environment, our landscapes, our farms, and can cause a lot of damage. Today we're going to walk around my neighborhood and see what we can find. Everybody knows this one probably. This is our Himalayan blackberry. It's non-native and very invasive. Forms lots of thickets. It's best to cut this back, dispose of it, but just cutting it back won't hurt it, won't kill it. You need to go in and dig out the roots. So here we have some cut back blackberry. It's important to find that underground root ball and dig it out. Of course, you can use an herbicide to kill blackberry. It's very effective. But if you want to be mindful of using chemicals, you can just, and you don't have a lot of blackberry to control, you can dig it out, get as much of the roots and the root ball. There you see that root ball. And if you can get that on an individual blackberry plant, throw in the garbage or let it dry out, it'll die. Hey, this is our first weed. It looks kind of like a dandelion, but it's called common cat's ear. Always like to wear gloves because some of these weeds can have a, substances that are toxic or not good for your skin. Common cat's ear is a perennial plant. It comes back every year. But unlike a dandelion, it's rather easy to control by just popping out the roots. So you get a digging tool. Got the roots. We don't want those flower heads to go to seed, so we want to put them in the garbage. Here's another one. That's all the root. The plant will die. You just want to put this in the garbage. Thanks. Here's a weed we often find in our pastures. This is bull thistle. It's a non-native thistle. It's a biennial. It's a two-year plant. It forms a, a rosette, a flat rosette the first year. Second year, it sends up this flowering stalk. It's got a lot of big spines on it. So I'm going to put on my leather glove. If you dig this plant out and leave it, these seed heads will still go to seed. So it's important to cut off the seed heads. We're going to throw those in the garbage. And then we're going to dig out the plant. It's pretty easy to get the tap root. This is growing in a bunch of rocks. Good to have. It doesn't have a huge root, but it's important to go ahead and get that root out. You can also treat this plant with an herbicide when it's in its first year stage, but it is, if you don't have a lot, it is easy to dig out and get rid of. Okay. Another really nasty weed that's very common in our pastures. This is tansy ragwort. It's a two year plant, has a small flat rosette of the first year. The second year it sends up this really tall flowering spike. This one is especially toxic to livestock, can kill livestock. Um, it's very important when you're removing things to use gloves because the sap can be um, irritant. So it's very important to cut all the seed heads off the plant. I won't do it here, but you've got to cut it, bag it, and put it in the garbage. If you cut it and leave it on the ground, It'll go to seed. It'll spread its seed. So you gotta cut it and bag it. Then once you cut off the seed heads, it's important to dig it out. Pause for a minute. All right, so we're gonna 
see how we can dig this one out. This is in a bunch of rocks here. Dig this up. I'm going to take this home, cut off all the seed heads, cut it up, and put it in the garbage. There's a tansy called common tansy. It looks a little different than this. Um, it's not as invasive as the tansy ragwort, but there are a lot of flowers, a lot of weeds with, with yellow flowers. This is the cat's ear. This one I'm not too sure of, but you can tell it's tansy because the tansy has this frilly leaf, this frilly leaf shape. And if you go in here and look at the flowers, these ray flowers, there's 13, 13 petals. They're not really petals, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Each flower will always have and only have 13 ray flowers. Okay, so we're back at home. Garbage bag, weeds. Dump those in. And I'm gonna take the Take the rest of this tansy, cut off the heads, just because it's easier to get them in the bag. You don't want to burn this one especially because the, the toxins in the plant will go up in the fumes and can irritate your lungs. So all this tansy going in the garbage bag and it's going to go to the dump. If you have any questions about noxious weeds, you can contact your local conservation district, the Washington State Noxious Weed Control Board, or your local Pierce County or King County Noxious Weed Programs.